So now we're going to help out some audience members who have legal problems. They'll present their cases to the old established law firm of Robinson, Coplitz, Kilmartin, and Rogel. Our first client is Sal from Yankees. Yeah. Sal, what is your problem? Sal, how you doing? I'm doing all right, right Sal. I'm doing all right. All right. The city of Gracious Living. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. All right, what's the problem? I brought my clothes to my laundromat, and they gave me back someone else's clothes. Oh. Now they can't find my clothes, and they won't reimburse me. Well, first America's foremost jurist, Mr. Keith Robinson, Esquire. Sal, uh, Sal? That's You're Italian, I presume. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so the only thing you had is a wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got that as a question. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Are the clothes they gave back to you nicer than what you're wearing right now? <laughs> well, my wife's clothes, not mine. They don't disrespect. What you want right now is your wife's? <laughs> All right, Lori, question? Could, well, could you just take some clothes from the set of King of the King of Queens? <laughs> All right, Greg. Uh, have you ever had a homosexual relationship with the government of your family? No. <laughs> okay, he just went there. All right, let's see what they've decided in the case, Mr. Robinson. Well, I decide that you probably want to blame it on a black person. I see it. <laughs> okay, Lynn. I'm sure a Mexican is behind all of this. Okay. <laughs> Miss Kilmarzalan? I think you stole the bowling shoes plot from Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> and you should be um, uh, arrested for um, thievery. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Rogel. Uh, I think you should probably forget about the clothes and sue the makers of Rogaine. <laughs> oh. Who's better than you? Hey, our next client is Dana. Dana from New York. What can the firm do for you, Dana? I'm being sued because my dog bit someone who was told not to pet her in the first place. Oh. 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 Okay, Mr. Rogel, let's start with you. First question. Have you ever had a lesbian relationship? <laughs> Dana? No. Okay. Uh, Miss Gilmartin? I'd like to stay on top of home. What kind of dog was it? A black lab. A, oh, a lab? Mm. Yeah, a lab. Okay, Miss Coplet? Did the person look tasty? <laughs> no. Like a fat person no. or something? All right. <laughs> Mr. Robinson? No, um, it most definitely wasn't a black person asking to pet your dog. Am I right? No. Right. They're scared okay. of dogs. We'll black lab. Okay. <laughs> No, you better keep that dog away from me. <laughs> Walking down the block, yo, man, I'm serious. <laughs> yo, you better lock that dog up. All right, let's start with, uh, how, will, <laughs> how will you help her, Mr. Greg Rogel? Uh, I think you should saw the, the dog's teeth down, because uh, if the bite mark doesn't fit, you must be quick. All right. Okay. Miss Kilmartin. Uh, I think the little girl was probably asking to be bit. <laughs> And it's her fault, and maybe next time she'll learn not to go to a hotel room with a black lab. <laughs> okay. Okay, Lynn, how about you? I got nothing. Um, well. Look, I'm so pro-dog. Yes. And I'm just thinking she deserved it, whoever it was, and I would just bite them again. You should bite them. Maybe they'll just think the dog got the idea from you. Okay, uh, Mr. Robinson. Well, what's your name again? Dana. Dana, I think you're a lying whore. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. That's your decision. <laughs> okay, listen. I hope uh, I hope you I help you out with the case. And for what it's worth, I apologize for Mr. Robinson, and I'd like to rip your white beater off right now, but I'm not going to. Thank you for your time. Take care. <laughs>